This is project 13-1, the classroom plan, which is a continuation from chapter 8. <clears throat> so for this, at this point, uh, you should have already created the classroom um, in a previous assignment. But we have to update it to get it to 13-1 uh, status. So the first thing we're going to do is draw some additional equipment that needs to be added to the picture, beginning with the shelf. So to the side, I'm going to go to my rectangle command. And again, it's important that you got your layer on A furniture. I'm going to go ahead and click. I'm going to type the letter D for dimensions. The length would be 14 feet 10 inches. The width would be 2 feet. And I'm going to take my mouse and click to uh, place my rectangle shape. Uh, next, I'm going to go to my text command and I'm going to create a box that's the same size as my rectangle change my justification to middle center change my um, the textile height would need to be different but I'm gonna go ahead and just type the word shelf in all caps again 3 sixteenths is too small so I'm going to say 4 inches in the height. Again, it's going to get large like that, but when you close the editor, it's pretty small. Uh, and again, the text, I think it's still a little small. So what I'm going to do is double click it, highlight it again, and I'm going to change it to uh, a whole foot. So I'm going to type 1 foot, hit enter close the editor and again that looks a little better next uh, it's a desk so I'm going to go back to rectangle I'm going to click in a random location I'm going to type the letter D for dimensions to be 7 feet for the length and then 2 feet 6 inches for the width and I'm going to click that in place. Again, uh, I'm going to use my text command, go from one corner to the other, change the justification to middle center. Uh, the size will be one foot, and I'm going to type the word desk in all caps and close the editor. Alright, again, another rectangle. I'm going to type letter D for dimensions, it'll be 4 feet, enter, 2 feet, 8 inches, and this will be for the podium, and I'm going to take my mouse and click. Now the podium is a little smaller than the desk, so I may have to go with a smaller text size. So again, I create my text box, middle center, I'm going to change this down to 9 inches. And I'm going to type the word podium. Alright. And then close the editor. Again, as you can see, my text is a little bit too large. So I'm going to reduce the size by another inch to 8 inches. So that it fits. And close the editor. Uh, again, I'm going to do another rectangle type the letter D for dimensions this one's going to be 4 feet 6 inches and the other size will be 9 inches for the width and I'm going to click again this is for the window and I'm not going to um, have any text for the window I'm going to just leave it as is do another rectangle, type the letter D for dimensions, 
this would be four feet enter one foot four inches enter I take my mouse and click uh, for this one it, it's the plotter so I will use the text command and create a box uh, again middle center will be my justification change the size to uh, hopefully one foot will work and I'm going to type the word plotter close the editor as you can see plotter is too big so I'm going to double click it and highlight it all and reduce it down maybe to seven inches and it fits again another rectangle we'll do D for dimensions this is going to be one foot six inches by two feet take my mouse and click here uh, it has a another internal box in the inside so for this I'm gonna just click in a location and try to place it as that this here is considered to be the printer and I will just leave that without any text alright so once that's done we need to place the objects again where they belong so beginning with the printer I'm gonna select the printer go to copy I'm going to copy at this location as my base point and I'm going to drag it to this side of the classroom and I'm going to click in this area. It's overlapping the desk and that's fine because what we're going to do next is rotate uh, both shapes here to make it right. So what I'm going to do is click on the blue grip so that it's red and then I'm going to right click and go to rotate and from here I'm going to stand it straight up and click and my printer is in its location. Next will be the podium so I will select it, I'm going to copy, I'm going to choose the midpoint of the podium and bring it to the uh, center of the class so I'm going to find the center point and I'm going to track that down to where I feel is right and click I'm going to press enter to end the copy command next is the desk so I'm going to select the desk do another copy uh, to choose the midpoint and I'm going to bring it to where I feel it should go choose the midpoint of this desk as a, as a way and I'm going to click alright so next is the shelves so I'll select it and go to copy I'm going to choose this corner and I'm going to bring it down really into that corner but away from the corner slightly and click I will come to the opposite side and place it in that location Beside the shelf is the plotter, so I'll go to plotter here and copy that. And I'm going to place it in the 
this general area. Lastly, our windows. Again, by selecting the window, I want to go to the copy command. I'm going to copy it. at this location and then I'm going to rotate it downward next I'm going to add one more thing to the window which will be a line that will go down the middle alright now the window has its own layer it's a glaze so what I'm going to do is select that and put that on the a glaze layer and their position uh, on the wall at different locations. So what I want to do is from this corner go down with my mouse three feet four inches and that would identify where the midpoint of the window needs to go. So from here, I can do a move, select the um, this side midpoint, and I'm going to track it over to that point, and there's my window. Alright, now from here, we're going to make duplicates of this window uh, five feet apart from the center point. So I'm going to select my shape, I'm going to go to copy, I'm going to click the midpoint, and I'm going to bring the mouse in a downwards direction and type 5 feet. Bring it down again, 10 feet. Keep going, 15 feet. Next would be 20 feet. And then lastly, 25 feet. And I will hit escape or enter to end the command. I'm going to delete my helping line there. And next, go to my trim and trim all the uh, lines that go through the windows. So after you hit the trim button, press enter to select all and you go in and you're going to click the white lines that go through the windows all right so that kind of catches us up to where we need to be now for 13 one pretty much it's all about creating a textile uh, which will be called architect a r c h and assigning it a true type font okay so to do that you're going to go to annotate and here we have the button for textile I'm going to do a new the name of it again is ARCH. Hit OK. With this, um, we're going to assign it to this stylus BT, which is down at the end. and we're going to hit apply and we're going to close it out uh, then next it requires us to create a dimension style so I'm going to click on the dimension style button I'm going to say new the name of this one will be also ARCH for architect and 
basically I'm going to go into the continue part and change the settings accordingly to what the figures say. So first we begin with the baseline spacing being a half an inch the extend beyond dimension line should be three sixteenths of an inch the um, offset from the origin should be one sixteenth of an inch Under the symbols and arrows should be architecture tick, architecture tick, uh, closed field, arrow size is one eighth of an inch. Uh, the center mark should be aligned and it's at one sixteenth of an inch. Break size is an eighth. Again, over here, the art lift symbol should be preceded the mentioned text. Joke angle is 45. And again, one to one half inch for that. On the text tab, again, everything will be under art. Uh, by block, this should be none. The text height should be an eighth of an inch. Fraction scale should be 1.00. The vertical placement should be above. The horizontal should be centered. And we're going left to right. And the offset should be 1 16th of an inch. Uh, instead of horizontal, it should be aligned with dimension line. Then next, the fit. Again, should be where arrows is selected. Takes place should be beside the dimension line. Again, you want to make sure it is annotative. Uh, and... That will be the complete uh, settings that you would have, and you'll hit OK. Choose the set current option and close. Alright, so if you notice at the very top, your dimension style should say arc as well as the uh, text style. Uh, according to the directions, you need to change the annotation scale to uh, one half of an inch equals a foot. To do that, you, it's down below. Uh, currently, I do not have that feature on, so I'm going to right click here and choose annotation scale. Uh, it's listed here. Next, I have already previously created my dimensions, so I'm going to turn them on with this light bulb here. You will actually have to create yours uh, to look exactly how my dimensions are. Because I've changed the style previously, what I need to do is select them all and to make sure that they're a part of that particular dimension style. So under miscellaneous here, I'm going to choose the one I created uh, for the dimensions. And I need to select this one too. Okay. So that covers all the dimensions that's in the drawing to be in that style. Notice they have shrunk uh, very small. Also, my text. I'm going to go ahead and select each text that's in the drawing. Including the, the drawings I've made on the side. 
and I'm going to right click and go to properties to make sure that they're on the same style as well so they're all on the arc and I'm going to close it out alright so that covers that part now with the annotation scale one half of an inch equals a foot I'm going to choose that in my list So one and a half inches to a foot. And according to the directions, it requires you to go ahead and start adding the dimensions now. If I add a dimension, and I'm going to share what they should look like. I'm going to start at this corner, and I'm going to go all the way to the midpoint of the door. Again, notice my 19 is now legible okay, versus the, the last time and, and everything. So what I'm going to do is delete the small 19 out of my picture. You will actually draw yours. So I'm going to go back to uh, linear and do the longer distance. Get the 43 right there. I'm going to go ahead and select these two and delete them and replace them. I really need that point in the middle of the door. All right, and I'm gonna bring it up to that point. Now I can delete that and the longer distance. And now put that out there. And then lastly, this distance here to here. All right. At this time, you have completed 13-1, the classroom plan.